What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. Kind folks over at House Mile just sent me this six quart, seven in one, multi-use, programmable pressure cooker to review for you today. And I'm gonna make some dinner with it. The link will be in the description um, where to get yours. And by the way, we got it on Amazon.com. So just to run off the functions real quick, it can slow cook, rice cook, saute, you can do yogurt, you can use it as a steamer, you can use it as a warmer, and obviously you can pressure cook with it. And of course it came with a manual and these accessories, a rack, and these right here, cup, a measuring cup, which we never use. But this rack is very useful. I, I use these racks in my air fryer as well. Cool. This is what the inner pot looks like. So tonight in this pressure cooker, I'm just gonna, I just went in my pantry and my refrigerator and pulled out some stuff. I'm just gonna make some, what, uh, spicy sausage tomato fettuccine. I picked this up at uh, the supermarket the other day. These taste pretty good. So I'm gonna finish them off. Um, and put it into a pasta. All right, let's get started. All right, that's my inner pot. I'm gonna put some oil in there. That should be enough. Make sure it gets everywhere. So it. Then I'm gonna dump my onions in there. You got some red onions. Um, half of a half of a regular onion and three cloves of garlic chopped up. Put that all on there. Make sure I get everything. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna dump my um, sauce in there. This doesn't have any salt. That was, sorry, that was just in my pantry. So we're gonna make it do what it do. I'm just gonna dump that in there. And just to make my sauce extra sexy, I'm going to throw some dash in there. Since it doesn't have any salt, let's put that in there. Also going to throw some parsley in there. That's duck style right there. Get that in there nice and good. I'm going to go ahead and put my fettuccine in there now, even though some just fell out. That wasn't pimp like, but you didn't hear that. Yep, just break them in half and throw them on in there. I'm gonna throw some chicken broth in there. Enough to just cover the noodles or fettuccine. Just enough to cover it, whatever that amount is. Yeah, that looks like it. Boom. And finally, I'm gonna put in my sausage. And you know, since this is already pre-cooked, I'm just gonna lay it on the top of everything because this doesn't really need much cooking at all. So I'm gonna chop this up. And before I add my sausage, like if I had some mushrooms, I would put them in now. I don't have any mushrooms. I would have liked to have some, but that wasn't in my refrigerator. And again, I'm just making a quick dinner. So let me go ahead and add my sausage really quick. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Make sure they're all in there. Lay it out. Yep. Oh yeah, by the way, just to make my sausage look extra sexy, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some black pepper on the top. Make it look extra sexy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, guys, I got it on for the first time. Let me go ahead and put on the, the lid. All right. All right, I set it for eight minutes, guys. And uh, I'll let you know when it gets to pressure. 
Hear that, guys? When you hear this sound, that means it's almost coming to pressure. Alright guys, see you in 8 minutes. Who does the Giants play next? The Giants will play this Monday at 8.30pm at home against the Lions. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Alright guys, we are all done. So that's what it looks like when it's done. It's in uh, Keep Warm. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I'll keep it on Keep Warm. Now I'm assuming when I press this down, it releases the steam. Let's see if that works. There we go. I like that. One thing I just learned quickly, if I move this over to release, I no longer have to hold that down. So you can do it either way. So you have two options, which is unique to at least the four other pressure cookers that I have. That's pretty good. Cool. So what we're looking like, guys. All right. Ooh, it smells so good in here. Let's get all of this infused together. Nice. I like the way this is looking. You know what? Just for fun. Hold on. I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese to this. It's a little bit. Well, it's not too much of a little bit, but mix that up. Nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some spinach to it. And that should be enough right there. Not too much. I'm going to go ahead and mix, mix that in. I'm going to put it back in and let it just steam on down you'll see in a second all right add some more spinach I'm gonna put the cover back on and let it just sit there for about five more minutes and then we should be all we we'll be we should be ready to plate timer for five minutes five minutes starting now All right, guys, I let it cool down, and this is what we're looking like. Smells absolutely yummy. Can't wait to try some right now. I'm going to get my fork out, and let's go ahead and dig in. You first. Mmm. Man, that's good. That is some good stuff. And this is so easy to make. If I were to do this again, I would put the uh, fettuccine in for about 10 minutes. That would be better. But this is good. Mmm. I definitely taste that Texas Pete in the sausage. If you like spicy sauces, you gotta try this out. Let me go ahead and take a bite out of this. Mm. Oh, 
That's great. Anywho, that's my first look of the House Mile 6 quart pressure cooker. <clears throat> and again, I'll have the link in the description on where you can purchase yours. By the way, guys, I do have a pressure cooker group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. I'll put a link in the description to that group. If you have a pressure cooker, definitely whatever size you have from 2 quart to 14 quart, join my group. We share recipes and best practices, whatever have you. But if, if at any rate, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's cooking with Doug.